So if you're in zone five through seven and are looking for a, a trunking palm, but uh, uh, I'm gonna show you your options here of what you can plant. Uh, all of these options in zone five through seven A at least will, will have to have uh, protection almost all winters. But uh, we'll start with your best option here, which is the Trachycarpus fortunae and we'll go over some of the pros and cons of it, of whatever. It uh, doesn't have many cons. This, this palm is uh, good for all these colder areas because uh, unlike some of the other palms we're gonna show you, this palm will grow uh, year round in, in, in cold conditions, cool conditions. And uh, it's the uh, cold hardiest, uh, uh, trunking palm that really grows fast. We're gonna show you one that, or uh, show you some other options that uh, are a little cold hardier, but they're slower growing. But uh, what really makes this palm uh, your number one choice is its ease of wrapping. Uh, these palms stay relatively small, especially in very colder areas like a five or six. And uh, you can wrap them up real easy. Uh, you can check out some of our other protection videos to see how to do that. But uh, uh, a palm like this is your number one choice. Uh, if you want to, if you can find it a little bit more exotic and compact, is something like uh, uh, the Wagnerianus palm, which is basically the same thing. It's a trachycarpus. Uh, also, it just stays more compact. It's harder to find. Uh, uh, but, uh, you know, we have another video that tells a little bit about it. But uh, uh, we'll go and show you some of your other options that you have. Uh, some of your other options for a trunking palm are one of the sable variants. Uh, there's several different sables that, that are out there. This is a sable Birmingham. There's also uh, palms like a, a sable Louisiana a sable brazoriensis, uh, which uh, uh, you could grow as well. The negatives to these are where the trachycarpus, you'll have a trunk of just, you know, within the first, I mean, most of me buy have a trunk. Uh, these sable palms will take years and years and years to, to grow a trunk, probably in the neighborhood of 15 years for uh, the Birmingham and uh, the Brazoria. Uh, the Louisiana, is, is, it's classified as more like a sable miner. It uh, uh, can grow a, a smaller trunk, maybe a little faster, but it's just gonna be a little small trunk. Uh, but these are a little more cold hardy than the uh, trachycarpus, that's the uh, positives and uh, they might suit your landscape a little little bit better, but they're gonna stay uh, smaller and closer to the ground and more in the area of, uh, you know, five foot or when they get really, really large, uh, you know, especially in a colder area, uh, six, seven, eight to 10 feet. <laughs> but your, uh, as compared to your windmill palm, your trachycarpus, it's gonna go straight up with a trunk fairly fast, uh, at, or at least for palm. Uh, you know, they can grow, you know, up to a foot. Uh, some of ours grow more than a foot a year. But, um, so anyway, your sable variants are your, uh, one of your other choices for a trunking palm, but it's gonna take a long time to get a trunk. Uh, your other option uh, that's a little more exotic uh, has a couple of downsides as well. Is your Washingtonia robusta? Here's a potted one here, and these palms uh, grow really fast. Um, uh, they can be grown in colder zones during the summer. They could be planted in the ground, and uh, uh, just like all these palms we're showing, especially in zone five and six, you're going to have to protect them every winter. Uh, this palm 
the negatives is, is it doesn't grow uh, quite as well during the colder uh, times and uh, colder parts of the year. And when you protect it, you're gonna have to protect it probably a extra month in the winter and an extra month in the uh, spring. And so you're gonna end up having this boxed in about two more months each year to get it protected. Uh, there's some, uh, you know, it's some people like the look of this palm a little bit better, but um, generally, in my, in my opinion, I would still recommend the, the Trekkie Corpus. Fortunii is the, the number one pick uh, for uh, protecting in a zone five or six or seven. And, uh, but uh, this is some of your options for a trunking palm and uh, uh, you know anything else that uh, you could protect some other types of palms but they would uh, require even more protection especially in these colder zones which is what we're primarily talking about in this video zones five through seven and so uh, that's some of your options a Washingtonian Robusta Sable Hybrids Trachycarpus fortunii, and of course, the, you can find them a uh, waggy palm. All right, so everybody, have a good day.